On this video, I wanna see if I can set up my Chi Yi Warrior W with this. Let's get into it. First things first, let's break it apart and clean it. Now for the fun part, breaking these all apart and cleaning them individually. Let's get into it. All right, so now that my core has been cleaned off and disassembled, it's time to apply the heavy lube, AKA the Vaseline. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to avoid all of the, the threads. So I'm gonna hold it like that with the threads facing in, or into my fingers right there. I'm only gonna lube the part of the length of the screw. So I'm gonna take a decent amount of this Vaseline. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right along there. Put enough on there to kind of cover it. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna take this now. I'm gonna put the spring on that. And I'm going to lube the top of the spring the best I can. There we go. Pick the color. I'm gonna pick white. I'm gonna stick it in there. And I'm gonna hold the, sp the spring all the way out as I screw it into the core. So I'm gonna get threaded as much as I can. Then I'm going to release it and tighten it down. Cool. So what I'm looking for is about five threads and that's where I'm gonna be keeping it right now. So let's continue and repeat. All right, so now that I've completed all the core and screw lube, time to go in the corners and the edges. All right, so now that the core is officially assembled and lubed, all the edges and corners are cleaned, it's time to assemble and lube with the olive oil. Let's check it out. So I'm taking the lube, or I'm taking the olive oil and I'm actually applying it to the side and along the edge here. And I'm taking the lube side and I'm going to be inserting it into the puzzle face down, like this. I'm gonna continue doing this all along the edges. So I'm gonna take two of the corner pieces and I'm going to be lubing uh, just the inside of two of them. If I need to do more later, I'll do more. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and just lube. Put the lube right here, or the oil right there. I'm gonna get a little, little bit more. All right, put a little bit more right there. Right along the edge right there. And I'm gonna insert it face down, obviously. All right, and now I'm going to do the, I'm gonna lube the last piece over here. So I'm going to assemble the rest, and this is the last corner I'm going to be lubing. Alright, last but not least, I'm going to be lubing this piece right here, right along the edge there. And I'm going to insert it, face down of course. And now I'm going to put the last edge in. All right, so I've had a chance to uh, work this puzzle through and it loops really well. It actually runs really, really well now. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it's just a coincidence, but um, the Vaseline and the olive oil uh, seem to have really you know, quieted the puzzle down a bit. It's really quick. It's really fluid and smooth. So I, I'd say this is a total upgrade. So in closing, I'm not saying you should lube your puzzles with olive oil and Vaseline. However, I am saying that if you have a budget puzzle that isn't turning quickly, this might be a nice budget fix for that. Granted, this is the first time I've ever lubed a puzzle with Vaseline and olive oil, 
and I'm not sure how it's gonna hold up after a week or two. I will make it a point to keep you guys updated on the progress of that. So with that said, I'm gonna leave it here for now. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Also comment your thoughts and anything else you'd like to ask. And if you found this video helpful, give it a like. With that said, happy cubing.